If your workbench is crowded with box instruments like these, or if you're tired of taking the same measurement over and over, or if you're just interested in learning more about automated test systems or software-defined instruments, then this video is right for you. In this video, I'm going to be talking about PXI, a flexible, high-performance test system that can do everything from taking man manual measurements to validate a design, all the way to building automated test systems that can test hundreds or thousands of devices on a, protect on a production test floor. PXI is used across many different industries to automate those repetitive measurements, saving time, and getting products to market faster. So let's walk through uh, the overall benefits of PXI, with the first one being high performance. So when it comes to latency, bandwidth, and channel density, uh, no other platform can compete with PXI. Then, then there's the fact that it is modular. So what I mean with that is that every piece of the uh, PXI system can be individually picked out to meet the specific needs of the application. Um, and if for some reason your requirements change, which they often do, uh, you can always just add a module or swap out a module for one that works better. So that makes these overall future-proof and allows you to scale easier in the future. Then we have the reduced size, weight, and power, which when you see the actual instruments, you can see that we don't have any of the redundant um, screens or knobs or power supplies. So that, that one makes a lot of sense. And then finally, you have the fact that, the, that it's software-defined functionality. Uh, and basically what I mean is that you just have a much higher level control from a software standpoint. Um, you're, you're able to take user-defined measurements, you're able to do very specific types of analyses, and overall you're just not constrained by the, by the vendor-defined functionality. So now let's jump into kind of what a test system or what a PXI system actually is. And overall, it's basically just a computer for test. And we can walk through each of the components there, um, with the first component being a PXI chassis. So, the chassis is actually the backbone of the PXI system. It's what all the different modules are going to plug into. Uh, and then it also is going to facilitate that communication between the instruments and the computer. So then for our instruments, we have a very wide range of different uh, I.O. modules from sensor-based to physical measurements. Um, and then all the instruments that you expect when it comes to DMMs and oscilloscopes but all, also for interfacing with CAN, GPIB, et cetera. So everything that you would need to build out a test system that meets your needs. Then we have the PXI controller, which there's going to be two different situations here. The first, you're going to have an embedded controller, which is actually going to have the controller in the first lot of the PXI chassis. Um, that's actually going to be running an operating system. It's the brain of the PXI um, system. The other situation is with these types of controllers, uh, they just have the chassis and the modules, and then it connects to your laptop or desktop, and then your, your, um, your personal computer is actually going to be acting as a controller, controlling the, the system itself. Finally, we have software, which is an extremely important component to everything, since you can't do anything with PXI without the software. Um, and we have different levels from Instrument Studio, which is basically just uh, giving you parity with the physical interface on a box instrument to uh, LabVIEW where you can program automated tests. And then uh, we also have um, drivers that are compatible with many different types of third-party languages, including Python, C, and many others. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into a demonstration. All right, so for my demonstration, what I've basically done is I've set up an Arduino uh, to basically be a device under test, an example device under test. Um, and what I basically am doing is I'm using a uh, oscilloscope, DMM, and power supply, same as you see on, with these boxes. Um, and I'm using the power supply to power on the Arduino. Uh, and then I'm then using the DMM to read from the 3.3 volt line. And then I'm actually having it, uh, the Arduino output a, a PWM signal from one of its pins, and I'm using the oscilloscope to read that in. So. Uh, the software you can see here is Instrument Studio, and that is basically a software that gives you parity with the physical interfaces of a box instrument. So all the knobs and buttons and displays you'd see on here, you can get all of that in Instrument Studio, 
And one really great thing is that you can put it all on one display as well. So you can see that I'm able to see um, my oscilloscope, digital multimeter, and my power supply all in one area. Uh, and you can see that I am powering on my power supply, giving it 5.5 volts, which is what it needs to turn on the uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, then I am reading in the 3.3 volts that I would expect from that DMM. And then finally, I am seeing that PDWM um, way that I expect on the oscilloscope. So once I've set it up in, in this format, one really nice thing I can do and that I already did is I can export the settings that I have. Like once I'm saying, oh, this is a perfect way that I want to see my oscilloscope reading, I can export those settings over to LabVIEW and then really quickly set up some LabVIEW code to actually automate this whole flow so I'm not having to sit every single time and do this. So if I click out of here, you can see that I wrote this little bit of LabVIEW code where I am reading, again, I'm outputting from power supply, reading from the DMM and the scope, and then it's going through the different steps. So if I run this, you can see that it's powering on. The next thing it's going to do after that it sees it's powering on is test the 3.3 volts. You can see down here that it is reading 3.3 volts, so that passes. Now it is testing the PWM. You can see that signal, and then that one passes. Um, and then it's going to just go and finish off with the test. So yeah, the great thing about this is that I don't have to every single time um, either use a box instrument or even the PXI to probe every single one of those uh, pins and make sure that it's working, recording everything myself. I can now simply just switch over um, this, this uh, interface to the next Arduino, click run, and then I can just consistently keep moving through this. Um, and doing it much, much faster than I would be able to otherwise. So being able to quickly automate like that while also being able to do the first part of taking the measurements in Instrument Studio and having all that, you're basically not losing anything with PXI. You're just gaining that ability to automate significantly faster. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, please check the description for more links and resources. And yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much.